it's Jackie and I finally got to try out my Ambiano brand from Aldi Churro Maker. I have been wanting one of these for years. They finally had it and I got it. And I'm going to share with you how I make the churros. I use one of the recipes and I'll let you know if my family thinks it's worth it. So I am going to make the basic churro recipe. This first one, churro batter number one. One cup of flour, one cup of water, a half cup, which is an entire stick of butter. I did let mine sit out to be soft. We're gonna add in our three eggs. Going to mix this with a hand mixer. We need to let this batter sit for five minutes and we're gonna plug in our churro maker, let that warm up. And while that's warming up, we'll make our cinnamon sugar mixture bag. You can see I just plugged this in, it's on red. It'll turn green once it's warm enough. Okay, we're going to mix cinnamon and sugar in this bag. If you don't have one of these bag holders in your life, you probably need one. My friend gifted me this. I will link them below from Amazon, but I think you buy them in like a three or four pack for really inexpensive. So buy one for yourself and then gift them this Christmas season to your friends. So we're gonna add a quarter cup sugar. And it says a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, but because I love cinnamon, I'm gonna do a half teaspoon. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna make this a full half cup and then whatever's left over we'll have for toast. You can follow the recipe and only do a quarter if you want, but I'm gonna do a half cup because I wanna make sure there's enough and it'll be easier to save this. So my ratio is a half cup sugar to a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get this closed and I'll shake this up and then it will be ready to shake our churros in. I'll be back when my churro maker's warm, my batter's sat, but I'm gonna clean up right now. The instructions say to wipe your churro molds with oil. I'm just gonna use my butter wrapper because look at all the ready the light was green let's put our batter in the piping bag so I'm not going to fill this bag up with all my batter I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time and reload it you can use bigger bags if you want you can use a really usable one I'm just using the baggie and when you use a baggie as a piping bag you just cut the tip and that's where your batter can flow out of. Just don't forget which one you cut because you don't want it to spill everywhere, right? So this step is optional according to the instructions. So I'm going to take this and flip it. It's been about four minutes. And what I'm looking for is steam coming out the side, but I'm flipping it so it'll get a more even cook. It's like a nice churro there, doesn't it? Kyle and Elsie are trying. What do you think? Cal put the whole entire thing in his mouth. Elsie's a little more ladylike. Do you approve? Cal already asked me how many more are coming. <laughs> it's a really nice crispy outside and the inside's really soft. And I'm definitely glad I added more cinnamon because I like the cinnamon. I like a higher cinnamon ratio than cinnamon sugar. Definitely good. So now that you've seen it, we all love them, and I definitely think this will be something fun to pull out and make on special occasions. We had a movie and a pizza night tonight, and churros were just like the best addition. So if you find one, I definitely recommend you get it. Look how chewy they are, they're crunchy.
definitely a win in my book. If you're interested in seeing something else delicious, you should see how I make funnel cakes also from Aldi. Check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.